The spooky Super Mario Halloween continues, and if the Super Show isn't scary enough for you, well, this time, we'll also be facing the Mario World cartoon! <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, that just means I had to watch this more than once to make this video. Yo, yo, it's the Mario Brothers, and plumbing's the game. Found the secret water zone while working on the drain. Lend the princess a hand in the mushroom land. Turn the action with the plumbers, you'll be hooked on the brothers. So in Count Cupula, Bowser was Dracula. I wonder who he's gonna be in Koopenstein. The live-action segment for Koopenstein was Baby Mario Love. I do not share that love. This is another one of the live-action segments which is harder to find these days as they didn't include it on the Shout Factory release. The reason being that there's a cover of Baby Love sung by the fictional singer Susanna Ross during it. Hey, take it easy. You know, Luigi, I mean, our lives are dull. It's the game everyone's been wanting, the doll lives of the Mario Brothers. I wish I had a doll life where I occasionally turn into a cartoon going, through different parody worlds and a puppet stuck its head through my wall. Wait, do I really want that? You never know when Glamour's gonna knock at your door. <laughs> huh? The queen of glitch and glamour herself, Susanna Ross. Huh? Yeah, we're not doing that. Ah, oh, the Sublimes, cause baby love was sung by the Supremes. <laughs> Man, the Super Show universe is quite weird when you think about it. Like, they get visits by real people and stuff sometimes. You're Nicole Leggett. I was just Cindy Lauper. I was supposed to meet Captain Lou Albano for lunch. Then they have weird fictional versions of real things like the Sublimes or weird mismashes like Ernie Hudson being a real-life knockoff of Winston. And then a couple of times the Mario Brothers got visited by the original live-action depiction of Inspector Gadget played by Maurice LaMarche. Well, thank you, Mario Brothers. I think I'll leave before you can do anything else to help. And Mario says his life is dull. How well do you boys sing? Oh, 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 we'll fake it, we'll fake it. Fake it till you make it. Do the fake yo. We arrived in the Swiss cheese Alps to rescue the villagers from a mad scientist. We figured the troublemaker had to be Cooper. Well, that's awfully presumptuous of you, Mario. Where's your evidence? Because he called himself Dr. Koopenstein. Uh, <laughs> well... It it could still be Koopa Troopa. <laughs> and don't think I miss that Swiss cheese Alps thing. Welcome, Princess Toadstool. What the garbage is this? The town of the reject Smurfs? May I present you with the key to our humble village? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> we tricked you. Now Fado is going to kill you instead of us. Why are you no good mushroom son of a... <laughs> I better warn his royal Koopanus that the Marios are here. How dare he call us the Marios? We're the Toads, right guys? <laughs> Go dig us up some treasure, Captain! Ah, oh, well, at least I'm not a knockoff Ghostbuster. Yeah, you're right. Forgetting how to jump's a much better game. Now all I need to complete my monster robot trooper is a brain. Unfortunately, that's the one thing this entire kingdom lacks. If only you weren't so stupid, Mauser, I could use yours. Mauser's alright, cause he's saved by the stupidity. So Mario Brothers and Princess Toadstool are in the village. Those plumbers may not be too bright, but between the both of them, I can make one good brain. Bowser is gonna rip out the Mario Brothers brains, smush them together, and then shove them into a robot. I just wanted that to be clear. Good work, Mauser! You stupid jerk off! Now, go capture them and bring them to me. If you fail, I'll feed you to my monster. That's kind of an empty threat, Koopa, considering if Mauser fails you, you won't have a brain to put in your monster, so it won't be eating anything. And since it's a robot, why does it eat anything anyway? 
I'ma let you dudes in. <laughs> Hurry up, Code. I'm starving. Don't you ever think about anything but food? What else is there? Now I'm just imagining Mario talking about how much he hates Mondays and kicking Luigi off the table. Mario, Luigi, and Peach get caught by Mouser and some shy guys, which means it's all up to Toad. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe Toad immediately failed. There's a shock. Koopenstein then calls them jerk-offs. I don't know, he seems to have a thing about that. Toad actually manages to get away from the Shy Guys using something he knows about very well. Greed. You can't just jump on Bowser! This show is so fake. The shock of Toad being so competent is summed up rather well by Mouser here. Ah! King Koopa then falls into his little brain zapper and lightning strikes, frying him to death. <laughs> Seriously, fairly graphic there, Super Show. He's turned into the Koopenstein monster! You were pretty ready with that name, Mario. Almost like something like this has happened before. Don't know how Bowser getting zapped put bolts in his head, though. Koopenstein's monster starts attacking the village, which is rather deserved considering the stupid villager mobs are pretty much the ones that cause all the problems with the monster in almost every Frankenstein movie ever. How did that bird hit Koopa there? I mean, even in the next shot, it shows how much higher up the top of the clock tower is than Koopenstein's monster. I sure wish I had a raccoon tail, or a cape, or my hat had wings, or a propeller, or a spot squirrel, or a bee, or my clothes turned black. Mamma mia, I sure have a lot of weird ways to fly. What happened? We lost! Mario! This is where we get our music replacement on the DVDs, as originally Weird Science was playing during this part. Weird Science! Oh, holy cannelloni! Master, I kept Princess Toadstool from escaping! I demand you let me go, you big bully! <gasps> you heard him, Princess! Ah! Don't forget that! Mario, Luigi, and Toad decide to use some Famiclone tech to get the Bowser bot up and running, and to show how rogue Mario has gone, he uses an Atari joystick to control it instead of an NES controller. And to think I once looked up to you, Mario. You disgust me. Pretty impressed, though, that Mario has a wireless controller for this guy. You'd better watch out, though, or Nintendo will add some pointless motion controls controls to it. I have to shake the controller to move him! I hate it! I mean, it's so fun! Meanwhile... Well, I see they progressed far. Well, they're dead! And now, your reward! It's full of holes! It's a Swiss cheese pizza! Where's the key to that pizza parlor? I gotta teach these guys how to do it right! Ugh, that Mario and his disrespect of other cultures. Pizza. Huh? What do you think? I think my career is over. Yeah, that seems about right. Tell me what did I do wrong? You want the fullest? You know, I said it before, but the show is quite silly. But hey, look, they got some tile game pizza on stage, so that's exciting. I hope they got three bucks off. Time's up. 
three bucks off. So unfortunately, there's no Halloween themed episode of The Adventures of Super Mario 3, so we're stuck going back to the worst of the Mario cartoons, Mario World. Super Mario World. So our Halloween episode of Super Disappointment Brothers is called Ghosts R Us. Which might sound a little familiar, as that was also the name of the first episode of the real Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah, how sweet it is! Oh, Tor! Where could that lost cave kid be? Here's a better question. Who cares where he is? Oh crap, it looks like Mario got the stupid big head power up. It doesn't help him at all, just makes him look stupid. Oh, creepity, spookity, scary. Yoshi hold no ghosts in Chatted Forest. Why did they have to write Yoshi like a baby? Why? Why? But hey, at least he's wearing boots, so there's that. Fish! Phew, I thought you were a ghost. Watch out, Luigi. It's the most terrible Koopa wizard in the entire dino world. Kamek? Weisenheimer! Oh, Weisenheimer. That seems about right for this show. Since Kamek only became a thing in the games after Super Mario World, we instead get Weisenheimer. That's Weisenheimer! Ah, much better. Yoshi Boogie! Yoshi's running away! Well, I'd complain again about them making Yoshi into a wimpy baby, but I suppose running away is in Yoshi's character, and getting away from this show probably is the right call. This is my enchanted forest. Whoever enters it becomes my prisoners. Now, plunge yourselves into that warp pipe! Jeez, more like Lazy Heimer, am I right? Uh, kidnap yourselves for me. I'm too busy standing around here aimlessly in the woods. No way. How do you feel about Baba? Those we're not so crazy about. Seriously? He produces one bomb and you guys all kidnap yourself for him? I hate to say it, but Toad's looking way more competent than the three of you right now. Well, Yoshi wish he wasn't alone. Dino dude radical cool. Yoshi changed mind. Yoshi wish he was alone. That would be the smartest thing said in this cartoon if it wasn't an edit by me to make Yoshi say that about Uktar. Uktar, capture Yoshi. Uktar, giant pile of crap. Uktar, annoying and not useful in the slightest. <laughs> Dino Bunga, help. Uktar, be plant food. Uktar, goner. <laughs> Oh, but this cartoon despises its audience far too much to have Uktar die. He needs to be around to insult our intelligence by pointing out what just happened. Whoa! Yoshi eat piranha plant. Excuse me. Yes, ghost. Dino dude save Uktar. Yoshi Uktar's friend again? No, Uktar friend. But Plumbers and Princess worried about Uktar. Uktar, king of jungle. Uktar not lost. <laughs> I hate it! Yes, please, Mario World, give us long drawn out scenes of only Yoshi and Uktar both speaking annoying baby English. It's such an audio treat. Well, one kind of neat thing is the Magic Koopa takes the give up trio to a ghost house, though all he does is chain them to a wall. Really lame compared to Count Koopa and his waterboarding Mario in his torture chamber. Ew, Luigi, get out of here with your flesh covered gloves. That's an error that keeps appearing in this episode, too. I just love to have people over to hang around. Yep, that's about what that joke deserved. We're chopped like hairballs in a lint filter! Only Yoshi can save us now! So we're dead! Oh, Yoshi, hope no ghosts inside! Okta, not afraid of ghosts! Oh, but then he's scared. Ha ha ha. Cave caterpillar! It's called a wiggler, you idiot! It's not even in a cave, and I'd question why it's aggroed already when they didn't jump on it, but it probably heard the audio vomit of Uktar and Yoshi, which is enough to drive anyone into a rage. Yoshi and Uktar run away, saying nothing of merit for a short eternity, until Yoshi gets a Red Bull power-up, and now that he's flying, he eats the Wiggler. <laughs> 
Because Yoshi needed wings to eat that guy. Stupid Yoshi. Stupid Uktar. Stupid everything. I do love, though, that sad face of the Wiggler as it's about to meet its end. Way to bug off, Dinobot! Ew, so like, Uktar doesn't have anything on under his little cave dress, so he's just rubbing his chode all over Yoshi's back. Disgusting. Yoshi takes them back to the warp pipe that the Wiener Bros kidnapped themselves into earlier, and Uktar's eyebrows disappear, which really doesn't affect his level of ugly. Uksha, not tell Yoshi! Koopa Wizard living haunted house! Yoshi not go in there! Yoshi too scared! Well, it's annoying to hear Yoshi blab on about being scared again, but it is also in his character to not go inside ghost houses. Really, this cartoon is a perfect one-to-one -one translation of the game. <laughs> Ukta not Freddy Cat! Ukta eat ghosts for breakfast! Ah! Ukta eaten by ghost! Ukta dead! So Ukta's brilliant plan is just to go knock on the door and ask for Mario and Co. back. I know he's a cave doofus, but come on! Magiluser of course zaps Uktard and teleports him to where he conveniently has one more set of shackles, but he screws it up and materializes only Uktar's head. Ah, Dino Super Dead Dude, game over! Hmm, it's almost like I want Uktar dead or something. We've been looking all over for you! Me come to rescue you! Suddenly, Ukta shackled to nothing! Yoshi manages to not be quite as stupid as Ukta and triangle blocks into the ghost house where he has to avoid the ghosts of teeth who died to cavities, I guess. Take this, lizard lips! <laughs> My magic wand! Oh, without it, I'm powerless! Wow, I sure am missing King Koopa right about now. Mario does what he could have done when they first met Magimoron and jumps on his head, snapping his neck, immediately killing him. Nice going, guys. Now how do we get out of here? I know this might sound crazy, princess, but how about the door? No problemo. I do really like the utter disdain Toadstool shows for Uktar right here. This is when she realized she made a huge mistake finding this retro reject. Uktar, sorry he got friends in trouble. That's not gonna cut it this time, Uktar! Ah! Dino Ultra Dead Dude! <laughs> there really is such a difference going from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show to the Mario World cartoon. The fun goofiness with some decent gags is gone and just replaced with juvenile BS. The Super Show isn't perfect or anything, but it's a much easier watch than Mario World. I know I like to make jokes about Toad, but I would take him any time over Yoshi and Uktar. It is such a chore to listen to those two, especially Uktar. Uktar, and this episode was loaded with their inane banter. Some believe Uktar and his annoying as shit ways are long dead, but others think his spirit still haunts this place. Uktar, you really blew in life, but for some reason, I want to talk to you now that you're dead. Talk to me through my little ghost thing. It's technical. One of my little toys. Dino Douche Wow Class A proof that Uktar is a Dino Douche This cannot be debunked Chocolate beans.
pizza, I live a life because I want Fail us so fail us, bring a more comedy Fail us so fail us, an animation movie Fail us so fail us, what we really is so fun Fail us so fail us, what's your opinion about? Now perhaps the most compelling part of my spirit investigation with Dino Douche Oogtar is that I'm not resorting to orbs. Why settle for dust and bugs when I have this ghostly display appearing all around me? I have debunked this as being a natural phenomenon, so a ghost did it. Also look at how this spooky sign manifests out of nowhere. This is irrefutable Class A proof that this was, in fact, spooky. 